Welcome to the Ask Ralph podcast, where listening to an experienced financial professional can help you make sense of confusing questions, current headlines, and industry trends about taxes, small business, financial decision-making, investment strategies, and even the art of proper budgeting, as Ralph makes the complex simple by sharing his real-world knowledge with all things financial. Now, here's your host, Ralph Eastup Jr., Welcome back to Ask Ralph, the podcast where we answer your questions and provide valuable insights. I'm your host, Ralph Estep Jr., and today we're discussing the best year-end tips for managing your QuickBooks online file. As we approach the end of the year, it's important to ensure your financial records are in order. So let's dive into some helpful tips. Ask Ralph will be right back. Hey, I want to take a few minutes and just tell you about the latest book I've written, The name of the book is Mastering Your Finances, Your Personal Guide to Financial Freedom. And listen, folks, it's not just a book. This is an actual roadmap to securing a thriving financial future. As a seasoned accountant, I penned this book to put the power of financial planning right at your fingertips. This book will transform your financial landscape from a confusing maze of numbers and jargon to a clear and well-trodden path towards prosperity. This book is written for Every potential user, from the first-time person trying to get their finances in order to a well-seasoned person who's been trying to do this for a long time. So what I want you to do is to discover the profound impact of strategic planning as you journey through real-life examples, practical tips, and insightful advice. This book is more than a guide. It's a lifeline to financial literacy and independence. This is a way for you to take control of your financial destiny and embrace the freedom that comes with financial stability. This book is an essential read for anyone seeking to navigate the world of personal finance with confidence and ease. The book is available right now on Amazon.com. You just search for the name Ralph Estep, and you can get it either on paperback or on Kindle. So check it out when you get a chance. And now back to the podcast. So let's jump right into it. Tip number one, and this is really important, review and reconcile your accounts. Take time to go through each account in your QuickBooks online file and ensure that all transactions are accurately recorded. This includes your bank accounts, credit cards, and other financial accounts you have linked to QuickBooks. Reconcile and helps identify any discrepancies and ensures that your records match the actual balances. This is really something you need to be doing frequently, at least once a month. We have monthly clients that we do this for every month, but it's most definitely important to be doing that at the end of the year. Tip number two, categorize and classify expenses. Properly categorizing your expenses is essential for accurate financial reporting and tax preparation. Make sure all of your expenses are assigned to the correct categories and classes within QuickBooks. This will help you generate accurate profit and loss statements and provide a clear picture of your business's financial health. This is, again, something that we use with all of our clients. We actually use a product called Uncat, where you can dump all of your, quote, uncategorized items into some software and it reminds you to go through and categorize those. But while you're doing that, you know, look at the actual categories you have, see if they still fit with your business needs, and then dive into those categories just to make sure you haven't you know, put something into the wrong bucket. You know, a lot of times what I will do with my clients is compare year to year and see if there's any big discrepancies or increases in an area of expenses or a decrease in area of expenses. A lot of times that will point out where there's an issue. So let's move on to tip number three. Review your accounts receivable and accounts payable. It's time to take a close look at your outstanding invoices and bills. You need to follow up on any unpaid invoices and consider sending reminders to clients or customers who are behind on payments. On the other hand, make sure you have accounted for all of your outstanding bills and schedule payments to avoid late fees or penalties. It's a great time at the end of the year to make those payments that you're going to pay in January anyway. Make those in December and get the benefit of the tax deduction this year. You also want to be following up with your customers and making sure they're paying you on time. You know, they say what what gets measured gets done. So measure your accounts receivable and make sure that you are being paid timely. So let's move on to tip number four, prepare for tax season. As we approach the end of the year, it's essential to start gathering all the necessary documents for tax preparation. Update your tax settings in QuickBooks and ensure that all of your income and expense transactions are accurately recorded. 
Consider consulting with a tax professional to maximize your deductions and ensure compliance with the latest tax laws. I think this is vital. We did a podcast a few days ago about how to select a licensed accountant or CPA to do your work, and I think that's a very important thing to do. Tip number five, take advantage of QuickBooks online reporting features. Generate financial reports such as profit and loss statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements. These reports provide valuable insights into your business's financial performance and can help you make informed decisions for the upcoming year. And listen, this is one that a lot of people overlook. Lastly, don't forget to back up your QuickBooks online file. Regularly backing up your data ensures that you have a copy of your financial records in case of an unexpected event or system failure. QuickBooks Online provides options for automatic backups, so take advantage of this feature to safeguard your data. You know, folks, this is a really good time to take a look at everything you're doing in your business, you know, during the holiday season. You know, take a look at your software, make sure everything is up to date. So that wraps up this episode of Ask Ralph. I hope you found these year-end tips for managing your QuickBooks Online file helpful. Taking the time to review and organize your financial records will set you up for success in the upcoming year. As always, if you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to a QuickBooks expert or financial advisor. You can email me at ralph at askralph.com. Until next time, stay organized and keep your finances in order. And I think that's a good New Year's resolution to take as well. Thank you for joining us on the Ask Ralph podcast. And with the simple click to subscribe, we'll invite you back to our next episode. And remember, financial issues don't have to be complicated. Just Ask Ralph. The information contained in this episode of Ask Ralph is based on data available as of the date of its release. Saggio Accounting Plus and Ask Ralph Media Inc. is under no obligation to update this content if changes occur. Applying this information to your specific situation requires careful consideration of all facts and circumstances, and any information provided is not to be considered as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult your tax advisor or attorney before acting on any material covered.